Hi everyone, my name is Chris, and uh, this is my unboxing video of the Kuroki Go Ishi 10 Blue Label Go set. Uh, I purchased this during the 100 year anniversary uh, sale of the Kuroki Go Ishi website. Um, it was also the Blue Label first anniversary, so there were some awesome deals. Uh, this set in particular is the um, Blue Label set 4 with the size 31 Blue Label uh, clamshell go stones. Came with um, the Kuri go bowls, which are the um, chestnut, and a XL New Kaya uh, tabletop go board. Um, let's see, I heard about Kuroki Go Ishi 10 from a lot of reviews of go equipment that I was reading online, and um, I only heard great things about them. They looked amazing. Uh, when I went to their website, they had uh, awesome information and it really impressed me about how the craftsmanship, um, how the craftsmen made these go stones and the go boards. It was a very authentic process. Um, further ado. Lots of styrofoam. It's awesome. Look at that. It's a statement. I think these are. I think these are stands for the the go board. This is a tabletop go board, so it has little. Um, stands for the bottom, I'm guessing. Looks like the all, all pieces came nicely packaged. It's very nice of them. I didn't request this as a gift, so it's uh, considerate, them, considerate of them to preemptively do that. So lots of, lots of uh, styrofoam. Got another box here. It's almost like, like Christmas. So I paid a lot of money for it. Obviously, the go board. Although, I guess that's true of any Christmas. You end up paying a lot. So. This gift set in particular came with four pieces um, because it was a gift they sent, or because it was an exclusive set, it came with this extra go board, which you'll see here. But, so let's start with the, the board. Here. 
wrapped pretty adorably, I must say. Christmas, just might as well just pull it all off. Oh. It comes in a little box. Uh, I'm not an expert on kanji, but I think that's face up there. So this is a new Kaya cable, table, um, it's a size 10 with the XL, it's got a nice grain there, Let's see if we can get some of the light. Beautiful lines along the sides. It's pretty light, it's very nice, I wasn't expecting the box. And with these go boards, on the website it said that there was all of their go boards were lined authentically with um, the um, with the Tachi Mori uh, method of lining with the well lacquered Japanese sword, and they would kind of go like this to mark the lines. Now, I'm not sure if they did that or not, but it is ri risen. Um, so this, there's not a, a cut in the board. There's just kind of lacquer on top of it. You can feel the lines when you touch them. I've heard uh, some people didn't like that because they the ghost stones some might be a little bit tilted on the side. Um, if it gets onto a line, just just right. I was going to tell you about this board. Um, it's 2.9 centimeters thick, so this board in particular. I didn't want to go too heavy with the tabletop board just because, you know, if we're playing on this table, I don't want it to be too high. Fair is a good practical board. Um, also, it's made from usually three to four pieces of wood. I uh, can't tell on this board in particular how many pieces it would be. It all looks pretty solid to me. So this one might be one piece. And yeah, the grains all look perfectly aligned. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Love it. Um, you know, that was the size 10 board of uh, Shinkaya, or New Kaya. So the next thing here. So this, I think, is the Go Bowls. The Kuri Go Bowls. Kuri. I'm not very good at pronunciation. Ooh. Ooh. These are nice. I like this. Comes very nicely packaged so that it doesn't get damaged at all. There's a bubble wrap right in here. You can kind of see. To protect the lid there. Very lightweight. These are my first, my first uh, go bowls. So, see, it's very dark. Can't get to see inside of there, but it's very deep. It's got a nice place for stones on the side. And uh, these are the Kuri bowls, um, which is chestnut. It's very nice. Um, if you can fix the lighting a little bit. Yeah. 
So um, these are for size 30 to 35. So these are for size 30 to 35. Um, I think they're the extra large Kuri bowls on the uh, Kuroshi site. I got the other one. I might actually keep this little box here just to, if I'm going to be transporting them, but I did buy a, a, a bag from Yellowstone Imports as well, just so I can transport them easier. Um, again, just the same bowl. Looks beautiful. I love the uh, I love the lines on the top. How it's just like that, and then it's got a lot of character on this side as well. It's probably one of my favorite gobels that I've seen. Of course, there's much higher quality ones, but these are pretty good, pretty awesome for the deal. Um, next, let's get to the stones. That's what we want. So I'm, I'm anticipating. Very nicely packaged. It's got the bubble wrap and the um, gift wrapping here. Ooh. Uh, who am I kidding? Very nice wooden box. Tells you the size right here, size uh, 31. It's got a nice uh, Kuroki Go Ishi Ten label, blue label. Made in Japan. And forgive me, this is my first unboxing video, so I'm not quite accustomed to this. Here we have uh, the Certificate of authentic Authenticity. It says uh, Blue Label Go Stones information. Maybe this is the information packet, not the authenticity. Ooh, it's very beautiful though. I'm not sure if you can see it on the capture, but um, there's a very textured kind of holographic, well, shiny anyways, tells you the size of stones comparison, kind of how they're made. Uh, it's all in Japanese, so not my best language. Oh, maintenance, tells you how to maintain your stones. It tells you the count here. So there's the white stone count that says um, these are the Mexican clam shells. Um, Nachiguro slate made from Kamano City. And, ooh. Mi, me, um, preference Japan. Um, so here it says. Uh, size 31, which is 8.1 millimeters in thickness. So, more information there. Looks like the same, same bit. So I think it's just one in English. And, oh, this one's in English and one in Japanese. So put that back. Goods. We have two spare stones. Looks very nice. These stones. Um, so that's the spare stones there, but we'll get to some actual ones here. It's got some nice bubble padding here, which I'm going to leave. Just 
for when I want to store these next. Let me get a better look. Size 31. Beautiful gold uh, colored rope that just attaches to the to the bag there. You don't lose it. These are the white stones. We have more bubble wrap. It's packaged very well, which makes me happy. Oh, they look gorgeous. So these um, these blue label are supposed to be very um, similar to their premium label um, Go Stones. So their premium label, which are the Yuki Snow and uh, Hama Flower. That's right. So these look like, um, are this, these ones are the more affordable stones. Um, so they are, uh, it said on the website quasi, quasi um, snow and quasi uh, flower. But you can see these lines here, are they're a bit transparent, which um, is awesome. I'm gonna see if I can get the lighting a little bit better. Right here. Blast this with light. It's gonna be pretty hard to show up on the camera because I don't have the highest quality equipment. But so I'm very happy with these. They look awesome well worth the price. Some of them do show up uh, have very less, very few lines. This one only has a couple that you can really see. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. So there's only a couple lines here, just right there and there. But, um, but most of them I'd say Pretty much all of them are like that. It's really hard to find one that only has one or two lines in here. So, I'm very happy with that. Let's do a little sound test. solid sounding. It could also be this board is laying on top of a uh, placemat there. Makes me happy. Um, let's open the next one. So these will be the slate stones. Oh man, these are gorgeous. Some of these are some of these are uh, sl like uh, snow grade for sure. Like this one has so many. So many lines going across it, it's actually hard to distinguish them. But they don't go all the way to the edges exactly. Um, so that's probably why these are the the cheaper, more affordable ones. 
this one, ooh, that's my favorite I've seen so far. Oh, it's hard to get these in the camera. It's like I want it to get in focus, but the lighting also just... There we go. It's more concentrated down here than it kind of evens out. But, anyways, you'll find better. I'll post some images as well, so we'll get the better look at those. Ah, I didn't notice this earlier, but for the bags, um, the top is uh, white here, and this one has colored, so you can tell that they're the slate stones. So I'll have to remember to put them in the proper bags when I store them. Now these I'm not going to place on the board because I've read other people um, get them and the, they are covered in oil a little bit to make sure that they're still shiny. Uh, that they're not dried out when you receive them. So there's a little bit of oil on it. You can kind of see my fingerprint gets stuck there. Um, but they're very, they gotta have a good weight and a good feel to them. They look pretty good. So these are, um, sorry, getting close there. These are th size 31s. They're considered thin, I would say, uh, compared to other stones. Um, they're a good size for me, I think. They're, they're nice. Um, I haven't played with any thick stones before, so, um, these feel about right. They're probably thicker than my, uh, my other stones that I have, which are glass. They have a really good feel. Nice half. Um, how you want to care for your stones is, for the white, they recommended washing them first and then drying them. Uh, drying them out on just under the sun. Um, you don't want to coat them in oil, you just want to use a cotton cloth and just rub them off or rub them dry just to clean the surfaces and polish them. Uh, with the black ones you don't want to, or I'm sorry, you want to wash them in uh, mild detergent. So nothing too heavy or too soapy um, the black ones you don't want to wash. Uh, these ones you just want to oil them if they get um, a little bit dried out. If they're kind of turning white or kind of you can tell where the grain is. Um, you just want to use a kind of light natural oil or baby oil if you don't have anything else. Um, unscented oil typically. Although I've heard that some people like to use scented oil on their black stones, um, just because it gives like a, if they use like a piney or a kind of a nice natural scent, um, it's just their preference really. Um, and then you want to polish these as well after you oil them, just to dry them off and get them good. Um, oh, I have one more board. So this was a a bonus board um, as a as a gift for purchasing on their 100 year anniversary sale. Ooh, so this also comes in a box, it looks like. Oh, more like a, a package. Um, okay, just slides out here, so not a box per se, but this is, um, I think it's, this is not Nukaya, this is, uh, yeah, Hiba, this is the Hiba board, um, so it's a little bit lighter, it feels, um, 
It's a little bit brighter. You can see the contrast here. The uh, Nukaya or Shinkaya. It's a little bit more kind of wood colored. It's uh, not as bright. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting, but the, um, the Hiba is a little bit more yellow. It is very light. So on this side we have a 13 by 13 board. On this side we have a 9 by 9. So how about that? It's kind of a nice just present. Um, you could definitely tell this one is multiple pieces. Um, so maybe less light. <laughs> you can still see the grain there on the sides. Not that side, but. Not sure if that's going to focus very well. But um, you can see like there's pieces here, here, here. So um, definitely cheaper board. Um, it is risen also. So you can still feel all of the lines on it. That's awesome though. It's pretty board. I'll keep that as well. And that's about it. Um, See if I anything else to mention here. Sorry about that, my camera died. Um, one last thing that I wanted to mention was that um, the shipping was super fast. Uh, I ordered this on a Thursday and I received it the following Tuesday. So less than five days. Though I do live on the West Coast, the Pacific Northwest, so um, it got to San Francisco, I think, on Monday, and it made it up to Washington on the same day. It was um, USPS Express International shipping, which did cost quite a bit. Um, so for this set, it cost, I believe, uh, it was 28,800 yen for the, the four-piece set. Well, this one has a gift. Um, and then it was 12,300 with shipping to the US. So that was pretty pretty crazy. Um, in US dollars altogether, that's about 360. So still an amazing deal for these stones with the go board, the go bowls. Um, incredible savings. I think the savings was um, about 10,000 yen. So it's about a little under $100, um, which pretty much paid for shipping. So super happy about this. Um, another, yeah. Someday I will have to get some more ghost stones that are a little bit thicker, maybe the premium quality, but for now this is a great first uh, first purchase from uh, Krokigo Ichiten. Thank you.